Hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to the very first episode right here of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. And yes, it's me, your host. The man, the myth, the legend, the guy that, you know, you hate. The man-child himself, because, well, apparently I'm a man-child. Yes, GLD. Anywho, guys, this is a very special, momentous uh, occasion and all that stuff. Whatever you call it. We finally reached 10,000 subscribers. 10K, guys. And it's all thanks to you. And I just want to say a huge, huge thank you, guys. I know that it has been... Well, we're coming up to 11 years on YouTube. Maybe 10? 11? 12? Maybe 12? I don't even know, guys, but... We're coming up to 11 years on YouTube, and I just want to say a thank you guys for being uh, supportive, for being there, for um, liking my channel, uh, critiquing my my videos, and all that stuff. It wouldn't have uh, this achievement wouldn't have been done without you guys. Now, a little backstory. I mean, I always have to go back to this because it's just it, it's it's so surreal to me. But I remember back in 2010 planning this out wanting to do this because of a light dark neutral by the way shout out to light dark neutral for the inspiration uh, yeah uh, just because of this guy right here I wanted to do pokey tubing just like this and I remember from like the times when I started how I you know introduced myself and how I came to be I, I just remember how much work I, I put into this channel just so I can get it to at least 10k and I get that you know it's 11 years and it took me uh, quite a while to do so but you know for me this is this is an accomplishment all in itself and I just want to say thank you guys for helping me achieve this accomplishment now um, hopefully maybe hopefully we can actually just uh, you know get to 20k 30k you know get it a little faster and all that stuff I will do my best to uh, come out with quality videos every single time, guys. Uh, another thing, too, I kind of actually want to thank a little bit of the pandemic for this because if you guys remember last year, 2020, all right, the beginning of 2020, I was only at 5,000 subscribers, literally 5,000 subscribers, and if it wasn't for the pandemic, I wouldn't have the time to actually come out with so many walkthroughs, complete them, and then get so many subscribers in a short amount of time. So. You know, it, I guess it was a blessing in disguise for my channel right here. So, because of it, you guys will be getting Pokemon Brilliant Diamond in all its glory. Now, remember, this is a game you guys voted for on my community page. And yes, you guys will be seeing who the starter is here in this episode, thanks to you guys voting for it. So, here we go. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is in widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Obviously, we haven't seen this man in quite some time since Pokemon Platinum, and there is Munchlax himself, looking pretty like, you know, full hefty and all that stuff. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop, develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn a little bit more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? And something pretty awesome right here, guys. Look at that. We can actually change our skin tone in Pokemon Diamond or in the remakes of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Here we have regular Draven, you know, the same old uh, Japanese version. We got Black Will Never Crack Draven. We should probably do that at one, to at one point. And then we got Blonde Blue Eyed. Uh, I am from uh, Geller Draven. And then we got the Mochaccino. I am sexy as fuck Draven. And you know what? I think we're going to go with Bam. Sexy as fuck Draven right here. So anywho, let's go ahead and put our name into the uh, little thing right here. Yes, it's me. It's me. It's GLD. That's right. It's been a while, guys. Yes, my name is Draven. Okay, so your name is Draven. A fine name that is. And obviously, we got, uh, wow, Ace Ventura himself. Now this boy here, I believe, is your friend. What might his name be? Well, you guys already know. I have two friends slash rivals that I just don't like. I really don't. Hop, obviously, because you guys have been watching Pokemon Sword and Shield. And, of course, this guy right here. He does look like Ace Ventura with the whole Ikuetsu Ocha hair. Uh, I will be calling him Barry because, well, that's his proper name, I believe. So there we go, yes. All right, Draven, the time has come. Your very own tale of Grand Adventure is about to unfold. 
On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even... Now, go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. Okay. Alrighty, let's do this. Rolling up my arm just like Goku is. Alrighty, warming up just a little bit. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. What the heck? Despite the Explorations team's best effort, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear even fleetly to, so, to, the, to the crestfallen team. The team. Oh, we're watching TV. Huh. This is, uh, this is pretty, uh, pretty awesome right here. That concludes our special report. Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilee TV on Nationwide Net. Nationwide is on your side. Okay. And, well, I do believe uh, we look like chibis. Even though I never know what a chibi is. Look at that. We're looking pretty cute and all that stuff. Now, if there is one thing. One thing that I have a little bit of a complaint is that this format right here, the way that we look. We look like chibis and all that stuff. I, I, yeah. I don't know, guys, but it's the way the game is. It, we're playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, guys. Let's just enjoy this. So, before we do anything, let's go into the options because we need to uh, we need to switch things up. Now, obviously, we need the, the, the text speed a little bit faster. And you know what? There is one thing that we need to do, and that is the autosave. We need to take that off because I remember clearly that when I was playing Pokemon Sword and Shield, still am, uh, the autosave would be on and I would completely screw up on a few things, changing up a few clips here and there, you know, just to get my uh, walkthrough out there. So we're going to take that off. And you know what? Let's change the window. And we have a pretty cool windows right here, but we're going to be going with this one right here. Look, look, look. There we go. I like the red and black. Remember, guys. You can change all of this anytime you want. Now, if you guys don't know, yes, I am playing Pokemon uh, Shining Pearl off screen. Now, I'm not going to be doing this. Uh, I'm not going to be showcasing both games, the differences and all that stuff, because it takes a little bit of work. Uh, we're just going to be focusing on Brilliant Diamond. And if, you know, things were to go well with this walkthrough right here, I might even come out with a Shining Pearl non narrated walkthrough. That way, you guys can see the differences. Obviously, because these are the remakes, you're going to be seeing a whole lot more right here onto this, uh, onto the games. A lot more content, if I, if I should say so. Now, here we have the latest game console, the Nintendo Switch, which we are playing right now. And uh, you know what? Let's go downstairs, see our beautiful mama. And, uh, well, let's see. Look at that. Driven! Barry came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it is about, what, what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Hmm. Barry just wants to find us and all that stuff. Anywho, now before we f progress even more, guys, I did mention 10K. As of November 28th, we have reached 10K subscribers. Now, the other thing, too, shout out to my sister. Happy birthday, baby sis. Thank you for the 10Ks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she was the 10,000 uh, 10, uh, 10, subscriber right here. Oh, and by the way, Mama's like, oh, yes, Draven, don't go into the tall grass. Well, Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you ju if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so, yeah. Alright, Mama, whatever you say. But I'm pretty sure Barry's gonna try and, like, influence me or something like that. I don't know. Alrighty, guys, so here we are in Twin Leaf Town, and looking around right here, it hasn't changed not one bit except for the 3D, and, well, Twin Leaf Town, fresh and free. Now, obviously, the house with the mailbox, that happens to be our rival's house, so let's go right ahead and uh, see this guy, and BAM! Ace Ventura himself attacks us right here, and he's like, what was that about? Oh, hey, Draven. I'm going to the lake. You should come, too, and be quick about it. Okay, Draven, I'm finding you one million if you are late. And I guess he, he's still money hungry, money crazy and all that stuff. And, well, he's like, oh, jeez, I forgot something. <laughs> okay, you forgot something, a little something something right here. Okay, whatever you say. Okay, so let's go back into his house, see what this is all about, and, uh, well, there his, there's his mama. Now let's go ahead and talk to Barry's mom. Oh, hi, Draven. Are you looking for Barry? He was gone for a second, but then he came running right back home. He just can't sit still. That boy! I wonder who he takes after. <laughs> Pretty sure his dad or his mom. I don't know. Probably one of you. I don't even know you that well, so let's just let's, let's go ahead and take a look at this right now. I better take my bag and guidebook, too. Oh hey Draven, we're going to we're going to the lake. 
I'll be waiting on the road. It's 10 million fine if you're late. Wait, 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 wait. Where in the hell am I gonna find 10 million? Okay, you know what? Screw this guy. Well, yeah, he pretty much has the same room, kind of like I do. He has a Nintendo Switch. Obviously, Nintendo has to, like, you know, advertise their games and all that stuff. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go to the leg, because apparently Barry's gonna find us 10k. Kind of like, uh, <clears throat> you know, us having 10k subscribers and all that stuff. Let's go right ahead. Now, right now, we can't run, but eventually we will. And there's Barry himself. Hey, you saw the news report that was on TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of a furious Pokemon in a lake. That show got me thinking. I bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it too. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to find a Pokemon like that. Mm, I don't think that's a good idea, but I, I'm pretty sure you're going to follow me. Which, well, look, look at that. He's following me. I might as well. Now, he doesn't know this. We did capture a Red Gyarados. We did. He just doesn't know that yet. And once we do, once he finds out, then yeah, he's going to be so jealous, guys. So freaking jealous. So Barry right here is like, all right, to the lake. Let's find us a red Gyarados. Hmm, a red Gyarados. Okay, all right. And, well, here we have uh, something going on right here. What's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm. I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was than it was before, but fine. It's enough that we uh, we have seen the lake. Done. We're leaving. Professor, how are we going? How are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh after uh, being away for four years? It must be exciting again. Hmm. There is one thing I could say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in a regard to our studies. Oh, he's been gone for four years. I didn't even know that, huh? Excuse me, let us pass, please. Oh, look at that, okay. All right, all right, okay. And, well, here's my girlfriend, Don. How you been? How you doing? I beg your pardon. We'll be on our way. Oh, Don. You don't know how long it's been since I've seen you. It's been a while. Anywho, Barry's like, what was that about? Those two. Hmm. Huh? Draven, let's go check this out. Dot, 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 dot. What's that? Don't you, don't go into the tall grass? No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. Man, this guy is, you know, he, he's a, he's a naughty kid. Naughty, naughty kid. And well, as you can see, it's a briefcase. And those people forgot it here. What are we? Uh, what are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who are they? Who are they? I heard the, them say, "Professor." And as fate would have it, bam, we get attacked by a Pokemon. Good gravy! What's going on? And just like that, bam! This this briefcase so happens to open up just to us, and well, look at these. Uh, look, there are these are Pokeballs. Let us battle using the Pokemon inside of them. Now, which one should we choose? And like I said, guys, you will be getting the starter right here onto the channel. Now, we we do have three starters from Pokemon, uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. We got Turtwig, the Leaf Pokemon, Grass-type Pokemon. We got Chimchar, the Chimp Pokemon, Fire-type. And then we got Piplup, the Penguin Pokemon, the Water-type. Now, I did put up on my community page a month ago in regards to this starter one. If you guys remember, I did play Pokemon Platinum, and you guys have chosen Turtwig as my starter. It went well, guys. It really did, and it actually, you know, I, I you know, I was trying some new Pokemon that I've never tried onto a walkthrough before. Right here in Brilliant Diamond, we had the three choices, and because of the 234 uh, choice or third, 234 votes that you that were in, a staggering 59% went for our good old friend right here, Chimchar, the Chimp Pokemon. And I was kind of hoping you guys would choose them. Thank you, guys. So here it is, guys. We're going to choose Chimchar, the Fire-type Pokemon. Let's go. Let's get it. Time to destroy. So here we are without our cap. And we're going to be going up against a Starly. Look at this Pokemon. It's looking all strong and everything. But here we have Chimchar, the Chimp Pokemon, a Fire-type on its tail. Let's get this. And, of course, it only has two attacks, but, you know, 
just two, two, two attacks right here. And well, look at that. It takes half damage and all that stuff. So here comes a tackle attack. All right, Chimchar, time to finish this guy off. Scratch attack for the win. And there you go. All righty. All righty. Look at that. Okay. All right. Huh. Your Chimchar totally rocked. But my Piplup was way tougher than yours. They were other other people's Pokemon. But we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? Uh-oh. Here comes our girlfriend. And oh. <laughs> it literally pushes Barry out of the way. Oh, there's a briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I'd lost it. Uh-oh. Huh? Oh, no. Did, did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? Oh, my gosh. What's the professor going to say? This is so not good. I'll take this briefcase now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. He is not happy. And, well, Barry's like, what was that about? I don't know what's going on, Draven. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt during that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. You don't say. Huh. You don't say. Okay. So, we're getting out of the uh, lakefront right here, and uh, the variety lakefront, I should say. And Barry's like, you go ahead. I know we have to return these Pokemon. They're not ours. But I want to spend just a little bit more time with this little guy. You don't think I want to spend a little time with this guy? I don't know. Anywho, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Chimchar. The Chimp Pokemon. Look at this guy. This guy is the Pokemon you guys literally chose a month ago, guys. Thank you. Look at this. Obviously, we got an imp in nature. Today, as I am recording this walkthrough, it is my sister's birthday, November 28th. And yes, 10K subscribers, all that stuff. Thank you guys for subscribing. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> yes, the promotion never ends. And as you can see, we got a little something something right here. Because of the imp nature, uh, it actually shows what, na like, what, what actual, like, uh, or, well, how should I say this? What stats actually uh, get affected from the nature and obviously my special attack will get affected more so with my defense going up and all that stuff so I, I really have no problem with it guys I you know it's I, I see it more as a challenge than anything now it's ability blaze powers fire uh, fire type Pokemon uh, when their HP is low it's gonna be pretty good pretty awesome it's gonna be fantastic just like in the anime and all that stuff and obviously we do have two attacks scratch and leer which you know, it's it's just the beginning of this whole thing. So, let us go. Let us move on. We got our first Pokemon. Barry still annoys the crud out of me. Here we are, Route 201, and, well, Barry's like, Hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? Man, you really have no filter and stuff. Hmm. I heard from Don that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Chimchar and Piplup. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Done. I'm going back to my lab. Uh, I don't know if he was mad or I don't know. But I, I really don't know what it is. I'm, oh, okay, Professor. Please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay. See you. So you mean you're t so, so you mean to tell me there's a chance? <laughs> Probably. Well, let's see. Let's see what's going on. Uh, what was uh, all that craziness about? I mean, if. He was angry, he could have just yelled at us, or whatever. And didn't we didn't he want his Pokemon back? Draven, we should go home too. Hmm. Alright, so cut screen, we go home, and here's our mama looking around, being as beautiful as she always is. And well, what's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Barry were unharmed? Professor, uh, the professor you mentioned is the most likely Professor Rowan of Sanjim Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I heard, or I hear he's also quite intimidating. Draven, I think you need to visit him in Sanjim Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll understand. Okay, alright, Mama. You know, this is the, this is what makes, makes things a little bit better. A Mama's love. Oh, I know, Draven, put these on. And look at that, we get ourselves a running shoes. Pretty cool. We can run everywhere. Yeah, we're going to lose a lot of weight with the running and all that stuff. Going to Sanjim Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to a faraway place much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Tilt the left stick firmly and dash about faster than ever before. 
put on the running shoes and blaze through uh, or blaze new trails of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? I, I, I guess that is. Well, what it means, if you guys got the joystick, it automatically runs. But if you're pushing the buttons, the arrow buttons and all that stuff, you walk. You can also push the arrow buttons, well, the arrow buttons and, and push B at the same time and you're still running. So, I'm obviously, you guys are going to see me run more than, more than anything because I like running. I don't know why. It's just me. So, here we're back in uh, Twin Leaf Town and, well, we got to get to the professor's lab because we have to, you know, properly explain why we, uh, we use the Pokemon. So now this will allow us to go through the grass right here, and you know what? It doesn't matter. We might we might even uh, see a, a battle here and there. Now, as you can see, I'm talking to people. They're telling me to avoid the grass. I kind of want to go into the grass. I want to actually grow my Pokemon. Um, like I said, guys, separately I am playing Shining Pearl. I kind of I'm kind of getting a, a small idea of what what's going on right here. I kind of want to know, or I kind of know what I want to do with my team that I have right here. Uh, Obviously, I'm going to be trading Pokemon left and right. That's pretty much the idea right there. Like, if I got myself a Pokemon that needs to be traded uh, or needs to evolve through trade, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to fill up this Pokedex. I'm going to make sure that, you know, I don't breeze through this whole thing like I do most uh, most walkers. Maybe I should take my time. Maybe I should do something. I don't know, but we're going to see some evolutions. We're going to see some stuff here. Uh, hopefully, kind of like in uh, Sword and Shield, this game will actually allow us to train our Pokemon and get some interesting Pokemon out there. There's the underground, uh, the underground caves. I don't remember what it was called, but yes, there are those where it's kind of a simulation to it's kind of a simulation to the wild area in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, we will be seeing a lot of that, guys. Maybe uh, not well, not too much, but you guys will be seeing some stuff going on in that area. All right, so we defeated our first Pokemon and. Good gravy. There's another one right here. And it's our Lord and Savior Bidoof. Holy crud. You guys are going to be surprised to see what Nintendo, what the uh, Pokemon company has uh, in store in regards to Bidoof right here. It's, it's friggin' hilarious. Don't spoil it, guys. Comment down below. Don't spoil it. And, well, obviously, we're just battling. We're trying to gain levels, guys. We're trying to be the best red that ever, there ever was. And, well, Bidoof right now is just, uh, you know, giving us a little something, something right here. Now, Something, something you guys should know too. Yes, there will be a like I'm gonna, I'm I'm really taking a, into my craft, you know, with the whole Photoshop, with the video uh, making and all that stuff. This game, alongside other walkthroughs, yeah, I'm gonna try and get get some good edits on it. That way, you know, it's a good quality video, and I don't prolong the whole thing because we all know in Nintendo Switch games, bam, learning ember. Uh, in Nintendo Switch games, it, it kind of takes a little bit uh, long, like longer than usual games, if you guys catch my drift. So let's talk to this lady. Hi, I work at the Pokemart. Did you know that a Pokemon's health is measured by hit points, HP for short? If a Pokemon runs out of HP, it faints and it can't battle anymore. If a Pokemon's HP gets low, you should heal it at the, with a potion. Here, let me give you some potions as a sample. Uh, these ones are free. They will automatically go into your bag's medicine pockets. And look at that. We get ourselves quite a few potions. So it saves us a, a little bit of a, you know, Pokebucks and all that stuff. All right, let's go to the professor. And here we are, Route 201. That way we never forget what route we're in. And bam. Well, hello there. It's the lovely Dawn in chibi form. She's still my girlfriend in Suno. I've got a lot of girlfriends in different regions. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. Okay, alrighty, okay. This is it. Our Pokemon's research lab. Let's go. Okay, alrighty. And <laughs> just like that, Ace Ventura himself is like... What the? Oh, it's you, Draven. That old guy, he's not scary so much as he is uh, totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Draven. I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. See you later. At least he didn't say smell you later because that would have been a little annoying. And Don is like, huh, was, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Okay. Alrighty. We're going inside. Let's do this. And, well, here's the professor himself. He's looking a little intimidating. It's probably the mustache. It probably is. Finally, you've come in, Draven. Or Draven, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm. 
I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then. I'll give that Chimchari to you as a gift. Now, now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes, I do. Because if there was ever something that has changed from Draven XC711 with zero subs to Gym Leader Draven 10k subs, that is that I include nicknames now. And well, let's see. Might not be cheesy, it might be just a you know, regular nickname that you'll probably see everywhere else, but I kind of wanted to give this nickname to this Pokemon Chimchar. Uh, if, you know, I had, if you guys had chosen Chimchar, before, you know, my real Optimus Prime, I probably would have nicknamed this guy Optimus Prime, but yeah, it's either here nor there. I'm just going to be nicknaming this guy a typical nickname. Here we go. Say hello to Inferno. Inferno. Oh, wait. Inferno. <laughs> Inferno. Actually, you know what? I like this. I was watching Digimon. We're going to call this guy Inferno Mon. That's right. We're calling him Inferno Mon. Don't come at me, guys. Yes, we are nicknaming this guy Infernomon. Okay, so there we go. Your friend Barry told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well despite it being your first time. And from what I could see, there is a grown bond between you and that Pokemon. Though it's still my, it's still young. That's why I'd like to, I'd like to entrust you with Chimchar. Oh, look at this! And Don's gonna be talking to me. He's like, I'm so glad that you're kind towards your Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd say to... Oh, I just can't say it. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want you to know exactly the kinds of Pokemon live in, in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Sure, I might as well, right? Because, well, I had no choice. Hmm, <laughs> good answer. And there it is, guys. We get ourselves a Pokedex. Not bad, not bad, right? Not bad, right? That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Draven, I ask that you go everywhere and see every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one, too. When you walked up to Route 201 with your Pokemon, did you feel... Or, how did you feel? <laughs> I've lived for 60 years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should go, or you should know that there are uh, countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Draven, your grand adventure begins right now. Alrighty, alrighty. And uh, look at this, Don. Looking beautiful, as always. The Pokemon that I used for the first time was Turtwig. If you uh, would have chosen Turtwig at the lake, we would have had the same Pokemon by now. Yeah, that's not really true. You're, you're going to choose the Pokemon that I didn't choose and, you know, bury and all that. But that's you, you either here or there. Not that it matters, but anyways, I'm Don. I also helped the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So, in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you some things. Glad to meet you, Draven. Okay, well, it looks like we're gonna, you know, get taught a few things by, uh, by our girlfriend, Don, right here, you know. Probably because, uh, we can and all that stuff. Okay, so let's go right ahead and just get taught a few things. We're not gonna end it right there in the, uh, in the, in the, in the, in, in the lab. So, here we have Don, he's like, okay, Draven, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a few more experiences than you as a Pokemon trainer and as Professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. And look at this. She is letting us know what is around here. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's a place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. Look at that. We're walking, and well, here we have the blue roof. Uh, the building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items in, with in medicine. Driven, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right, Draven. Don't you need to don't you need to let your family know that you're going on you're going to be helping Professor Rowan with the Pokédex? You may need to travel pretty far, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokémon at the Pokémon Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. Oh, well, look at that. She's walking away. We cannot do anything until we talk to our mama. So that's exactly what we're going to do. 
We're going to be talking to our mama because uh, mama needs to know that we're playing foosball around here. So we're going to be running all the way back. And yes, we're going to be going through the grass because uh, we can. We're badass like that. We're real dogs like that. And yes, we're getting attacked by a Pokemon into the Starly. Okay, alrighty, let's go. Infernomon, let's get it. Yes, it's named Infernomon. Don't at me. Here we go. Now, we're gonna go with the Ember attack. Now, there's one little thing that kind of bothers me is that, you know, its nature kind of lowers its uh, special attack, but then its same type capability kind of boosts it. So, it kind of just like, I kind of feel like it nullifies it just a tad bit. Comment down below if that's true right there, guys. So, there we go. And, uh, well, it looks like we're gonna be having an easy time right here. Look at that, Infernal Mon get some levels, and, uh, well, let's move on right here. That's right, real dogs. Bam! And, well, here we are back in Twin Leaf Town, and we're gonna be talking straight to our mama because, uh, we love our mama, right? That's right. Okay. So, talking to our mama, she's watching TV. She's like, welcome home, Draven. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest, dear. Yes, we are taking a quick rest. And, well, what's up, Draven? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Draven. I've got something very useful you'll find useful. And, of course, we get ourselves the guidebook, which, well, we kind of won't be using because we kind of know things around here. And that's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you are curious about something you have questions of during your adventure. You may find the answer. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I am a you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. <laughs> I'm just joking, Draven. I'll be, uh, I'll be all right by myself, dear. So you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But please come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you caught so far, dear. And well, here we have an explanation of the guidebook. The useful information uh, for your adventure will be added to this guidebook. You can check it in the in your bag, uh, key items, and all that stuff. Okay, so press the B and uh, oh wow. And here we have a uh, Barry's mom, and she may have gotten going out on. And uh, well, let's see. Excuse me, is my little Barry here? Oh, no, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy that boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's, uh, he's so headstrong and reckless, I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Draven will deliver that to him. Won't you, Draven? I guess, I mean, I really, again, I have no choice. Oh, really? You do that for me? Draven, please take this for me and Barry, or for Barry for me. And well, look at that. We get ourselves a parcel, which still, we're, we're trying to figure out what a parcel is. Holy crud, yeah. Anywho, bye-bye, Draven. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably head straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my Barry. Well, I guess we, we got a mission. Probably, I don't know. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what happens next. And Mom is going to stop us. She's like, oh, Draven! You're forgetting something important. What is it? Oh, 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 hello! Look at this! Sergeant Stud Muffin right there. Look at that. Uh, look at that. Okay, we got a cap going on right here. We're looking like a... Yeah. A walking bottle of sex right there. Holy crud. Yes, that ha always did suit you well, Draven. Now, off you go. Alrighty, okay. Alrighty, okay, so we're feeling ourselves right now, okay. Anywho, guys, we're gonna stop the game right here. I'm pretty sure that you guys want more, which you guys will get more. But I'm gonna pause it right here. Now, again, I would like to say thank you to every single one of you guys who have subscribed. Thank you guys for helping me achieve 10K subscribers. I am kind of hoping that, you know, eventually, somewhere along the line, we, we can actually get to 20k, 30k, and so on and so forth. Uh, I mean, it's been 11 years, guys. 11, 11 great years, and I, I don't see myself stopping this, uh, this channel anytime soon. I just want to say thank you guys for helping me achieve this. I promise you guys this walkthrough will be, you know, it will be awesome. It will be great, as well as my other walkthroughs that I have here on my channel. So... Thank you guys again. I will see you guys in the next episode. Don't worry, it won't be long. I am recording a lot. 
So thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.